still have definitely the time to come back here. Uh, uh, now the first pick is not Uranus. We do see a Kufra here. So two picks for the side of Evos. Who are they going to go with? Oh, yes. Yes. Selena. Thank you. Selena is going to be <laughs> such an important hero in the early game. Uranus. Super strong. Even though they picked the Uranus, I still really like the Selena pick. And I'm, I'm wondering how that actually was left out. Well, Evos getting their hands on the Selena is definitely one of their... One well, of the picks that they would go for um, with the absence of Natalia or she's not reborn. Now they're gonna snatch the valley away. They keep them. Uh, they keep the link for themselves. This is essentially, you know, the same draft so far from game number one. And it was SG. Well, they they bring it. They still want the Uranus for themselves. They're willing to give it another shot. Have the Selena, but put Bambi. Uh, put Bambi on on the carry mix, right? Kimmy, Luna, Cecilion. It's just, I feel like he just does so much better and he just shines a bit more on these kind of heroes. I, I'm a little bit worried here because right now Evos SG, they're, they're not respecting the link at all and I, I understand why they want to just ban the jaw hit here because uh, Orange is what has a lot of success playing the jaw hit in their, in their drafts here but in my experience watching Orange Esports, sorry, not my experience, my perspective and my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge here from regular season until now, Orange Esport made the biggest impact in my heart whenever they play Ling. And if you ban off the Ling, they don't play as impactful as they are today. And currently, they're just giving it to them again. And I don't know, I feel like Evo's SG is really pushing it to the limit because Orange Esports, they are a master playing the Ling. Yeah, and, and I completely agree with that. I think Orange Esports, uh, if you go back and you rewatch all the VODs, Orange Esports, the, their main highlight revolves around uh, the games where they play Link. Not to say that when they play, you know, a draft without Link, they are significantly weaker. But Link is like the power pick, right? It's, it's something that gives Orange Esports the oomph that that signifies the team that they are. So, Evos SG, they need an answer for this. They are giving this freebie away. Am I looking? I'm literally looking at the same draft from Game of One. Like, this is this is round two. Is Deja Vu for Evos SG? There's just Tackling the same problem but with a different solution. Yeah, I, I, I think I like believe... uh, I like the Cho pick up. Yeah, what's up? I definitely like Cho the Cho is very good. Yeah, they played the Basia yesterday. Didn't work out well for them because I feel like they didn't have much rotations with the Basia. He was staying too much, too long in the top lane, focusing on the Uranus. But this time around, the Uranus is with them, so I feel like the Basia can actually, if they do pick it, it yeah, I feel like it's gonna be picked now. Uh, yes, it was picked. Oh, yeah. So. He, I hope that Basi can actually go around in case there's going to be any team fights. He's going to have the mobility to help out the team. The Cho and the Selena might be able to pick up the link early on in the game so that he doesn't come online. I, my heart is with Evos on this one. I feel like with this draft, Evos well, thinking with the same legend. lineup means that Evos has have an opportunity to break that formation. Smash them. The last game of this series, RNG Sports or EVOS. Will we see EVOS drop out of the tournament or will we see them rise to the occasion? Telling you the story of the game, Terrence and Husky. Thank you so much, uh, Faras. And we're going to be jumping straight into the game here. Game number two, Orange Esports with one game uh, in the bag right now. And they're one step away to reaching towards the lower bracket finals and Orange Esports they're getting harassed by JPL as well as Lun here but the blue buff does it get secured? Nope actually the red buff will be secured from Eren so fortunately for them they're gonna be A-OK -okay. Evo says she could not gonna be making it easier in this game here against uh, uh, Orange Esports now and with the Baxia pick from Evo's ESG I'm not too sure how it's gonna work here but he's gonna be able to knock the link down from his high horse on the cliff if he gets a really nice jump there yeah, and, and this is this is a scary game, especially for Evo's SG, right? If if they kind of drop out, this would probably, you know, in Evo's, Evo's SG's history, that for the first time of a regular league, that they did not make it to the finals. And it, it's, 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 a, it's a scary thought if you're a fan of this team, but for Orange East of Reborn, they want to make it to Resurgence, they are one game away. Maybe this is also the time for them to prove, you know, Vecchi's prediction wrong, where he said Evo's SG is going to be in the finals for sure. Well, not that I'm not that sure about that fact anymore. Yep, as of now here, the link is out of control right now. This time, instead of sharing the red buff with Bruno, they're going to give it full force onto his Eren. And I don't think uh, Evo's SG besides Soul can actually properly catch Eren. He's 
it's it's going to be a tough one here. And not to mention, there's no jaw hit in the picture as well. And I, I really worry for Evo's SG. They need a really nice abyssal arrow here coming from Evo's SG. Like, there's just so much more stakes on Forza's plate right now, where he's no longer playing the carry role. They're putting uh, Forza on that support, uh, Selena right now. And like you call it as well, uh, Husky, Bambi is playing the carry. Yeah, I think this is much needed. Uh, but again, now Forza is on the support role, right? So it's oh, almost... Yeah. The similar as game one, where they kind of relegate one of their core play, core carry players into a more utility based hero, uh, which isn't really a big problem, right? I, I don't have any issues with that, but it requires a bit uh -oh. more perfect execution to pull off and engage from Mom. Here comes the Phantom Seed, they're gonna dash in, so does get the Jikundo up, but tempers the play, gonna force the flicker from So. Aaron not able to get any kill just yet. Silo now in the mix of things as Bastia tries to run over him with that ultimate, but Silo managing to get out and, Eve, and Orange Esport manages to disengage. Look at the controls coming from Chapu as well, making sure that they do not get past that line of fire here. And all Evo's East or Evo's SG, they almost paid his life. First now they blood. need a kill, and that's gonna be first blood going in favor of Old Dear Bambi. And that's the kill that they needed here to skyrocket this carry ahead. Now on top of the blue buff as well. And oh no, here comes the Ooh, arrow, wow. and here comes the way of the dragon. There's two in the bag, and Evo's SG seems to be they have found their footing. Oh my god, that angle from that angle from Forza was actually insane. I did not expect that to hit Silo. So definitely a good pick off. Silo did not have vengeance as well. And uh, Forza bagging that kill. It's definitely a good lead, right? Selena falls off the later the game goes. So this kind of early aggression is definitely um, necessary as Mom will flick uh, into a Tyrus to fetch just to get out of that sticky situation. And you can see JPL opening out the map here, trying to find for a couple pickoffs, trying to scout where exactly Aaron is. But as of now, Aaron is just playing it very safe here. You can see Evo's SG, they're setting up their minds here to try and punish Aaron with this box here pick here. JPL trying to negate some of those uh, life steals here coming from Orange Esports. Not happening as of now. Whereas Mao, gonna be left alone here to farm his way through. Lun, he knows this very well here. Forza's gonna be in the vicinity. One lucky arrow is gonna kill him off. Does it connect? No, it does not. However, on the contrary, Orange Esports, they're gonna go for a catch here. The Tyrants are catching on two, and Evos, they're in some trouble. They lose Bambi, they might lose JPL in the process, and they will. That's two in the bag. They lose Mao, though, and currently, Aaron does have no kills, which is kind of unfortunate there. But on the contrary, Forza from the sides almost kills on Mom. Evos SG tries to make a play, and the turret will fall in the middle side, and giving the net worth in favor of Orange Esports. Still in for Orange Esports. They they lose Ma, sure, but they also but they got Bambi uh, and JPL. So two for one uh, with the marksman uh, being eliminated as well. So Orange Esports would definitely take that trade. And so comes in with the Jikundo, but no follow up from the rest of the team. They Evos are fishing for an opportunity, but they're not getting it. So you either send Forza to get another gank off alongside So, or you just drag the game for Bambi to come online. Yeah, it's gonna be tough here because right now, you speak of it, you wanted it, you called it, Husky. That's gonna be another one here. Send Forza on a rampage because right now, that's killing spree for Forza. 3 0 right now. Yep, for Forza, it uh, needs to kind of create space, right? A box that alone is not gonna be able to achieve that. You need the Selena. Selena is the threat for the first couple of minutes before you kind of shift the burden over to this carry on Odia Bambi and Xiaobu gonna throw out some torrents but he does get spotted out and he will have to flicker away very dangerous position for this valley to be in yeah definitely and as of now Evo is going to create a little bit more space here to try and capitalize on this situation. They do not want Mao to go out of control. He's got one death so far and they need more kills up on towards Bambi here to try and skyrocket his way through. Now, the hyper carry strat is in play. Evo's SG, they have to play this carefully here because the turtle is going to be up in 40 seconds. Orange Esports, they want to try and delay this if they can. Mom, they ain't waiting to push here as well. They try to make this kind of plays, but not happening as of now yet. Silo trying to keep Lun in check, and it's been working out so far. You can see Forza lying in the bush as well, trying to wait for a perfect setup. He gets scouted out, but no fallout available. Yes, there will. Aaron is here, and the flicker from the side. Mao, you're in the wrong side here, Forza. Oh my goodness. He gets shut down. Perfect setup from Orange Esports. Lun might be next as well as they go in for the kill. Looks like 
they won't give up their chase as the Uranus is too tanky. As Silo tries to harass a little bit more, but to me, they are going to be focused on the Bulbasaur to get those uh, regens up. Well, perfect pincer from Orange Esports catching on the Selena. They got it was shut down Q uh, as well, going over to the blue team. So, these a slight go injection, but it was actually managed to equalize that go, the network between them and Orange Esports. They also get a catch on to Mom to kill off this Kufra. Meanwhile, Ma is in a pretty dangerous position there, We're trying to run away, but then they stun the torrent from Valor just in time. They still lose the Bruno, but it might have brought enough time for Aaron to start dealing the damage that he needs. And Odia Bambi desperately needs to get out, but he can. Aaron now dash and leaves under the wall. He gets to safety, and Orange Esports, they trade Bambi and Lund back. But they lose three in the process. Oh, they still get Bambi though. Oh, Evo's SG. If, if Bambi survived that, that would be a huge lead being thrown towards Evo's SG. However, Orange Esports managed to salvage his fight, but looks to me it's not gonna be happening here as so catches Aaron. Oh no, this is not looking good here for Orange Esports and Evo's SG. They finally pick back the pieces here and they are gonna try and apply even more pressure. But as of now, they are going to buy time for Bambi to come up online as Orange Esports. They're feeling a little bit pressured right now, but the turtle, once again, is going to be available here. No contestment up so far. Both these teams going to be brawling it out, looking for those fights after fights. And Mom trying to position himself here. You can see Forza already lying in wait this side. Looking for the arrow. Does it connect? Oh, doesn't connect for Evo's SG. Yeah, this is this is just rinse and repeat, right? Forza and so the duo, uh, the duo assassins. Just as long as they get a pick off, that is good enough. The more pick off they get, the more time they buy. Doesn't matter who they kill, they can kill a tank, and it still uh, buys time for the core. His mom engaged on JPL. This Baxia losing so much health to a Kufra. There's nothing much that he can do at this point, as a uh, Forza is also kind of slowing down because the game is dragging into the mid phase. Yep, in the biz mid phase here, they need one lucky arrow again here. Yeah, Orange Esports being very worried about Forza's gameplay right now. As of now, Chaku overextenders here. Forza Flicker, nice torrent as well. Bugs are still available, but stunned up, unable to connect the dot here. But here comes the wraparound. Orange Esports is here. Aaron joins in for a fight. Can they take out JPL? Yes, they will. Mom will pay the price as well as Bambi gets a kill. So one for one trade off so far and on the top side as well above the lord you can see Silo also having a small skirmish against the Cho and the soul we have the way of the dragon the follow-up is here can they make a run for it phantom still available he's super tanky and evos can't seem to finish him off and he's gonna make it out alive and forza once again missing the arrow yep so he was actually only managing to get mom which is kind of okay they were fighting in a tight area Orange Esports was, they, they had to walk through the box ultimate, the Turtles Poisons, the burn, the burn damage and the slow uh, resulted in Mom's death. And that was that was perfect for Bambi, right? They were not able to touch Bambi at all. He was safely tucked in the back and he had forced out to back him up in case uh, this Link shows up. And Eric eventually showed up, but he realizes that there's no way that he could dive into the fight without any kind of backup. So they, they gave Mom away. And again, he was actually managing to buy even more time for Bambi. Let's look at how this is going here. Things, this is do or die for Evo's SG. And currently they've got 9 kills. But Orange Esports, they're not too far behind in terms of economy here. And slowly but surely, Mao is going to come up the line. And now, Orange Esports and Evo, they're trying to bait with the Lord here. JPL, he's stuck. He might get caught out here. Where's the follow-up? Uh, but it seems to me Orange Esports, the rest team, is in no position right now. But based on their blue buffs right here, the blue buff is available. And I think Orange Esports, they know what's up. They're trying to bait Evos into committing this year, but Chaku is there. They're not ready. Chaku is there with Torrent as well, but the blue buff will fall as Bambi will secure it here. As Eren is going to be in this next following fight without any kind of blue buffs here. Mom with tally retaliation here from the side is not going to be able to get any kind of pickoffs yet. And Evos SG. They will leave Orange Esports with no buff. JPL trying hard to catch Aaron from the sides here. Aaron a little bit too slippery for the time. Arrow doesn't connect as well, but he's on the side. Will they go for the kill? Bambi is there. Aaron is dropping so low, but Bambi will shut him down. Silo with the assist. Not going to happen as well. As Soul kicks him back, shuts him down. Two for nothing. And Mom tries to save the day for the team. Not going to be happening here. Learn with the wraparound as Evo's SG. They take two for nothing. Yeah, and the best part is they killed, and the one of the members that they killed was Aaron, the link that e Orange Esports desperately rely on to snowball. 
Um, Aaron and Sido, they wanted to dive onto Bambi, but Bambi just, you know, put his dancing shoes and just walks around that fight. Uh, a lot of confidence right there. Oh. Mom oh, gets clipped by the Abyssal Arrow, so... Nothing much gonna happen from that. But he was actually definitely was able to bring this back ever so slightly. Now Bambi sitting at six and two. It's gonna be harder and harder for Orange Esports to deal with. Even though you can you want to one shot the carry, it's not gonna get easy once she gets that uh, win of nature. But apparently she's going for a rose gold media first. Oh, the arrow coming in doesn't connect. JPL once again trying to go on the hunt and trying to find those link here. It's fortunately they will find Mum instead. Tyrant Strange connect on one tank. Here comes Aaron from the sides here going for the template. He's gonna focus on Bambi, but unfortunately he does not have enough damage. But from the sides as well, Silo. Here comes Silo with the Phantom Team. Oh Can he go for wrap around? But Bambi is just so strong. But the burst coming from Mao almost takes him all the way. The arrow, nice sidestep there coming from Mao. And on the contrary, will take down Fossa in the process. What a beautiful play there coming from, from Mao. The sidestep arrow. What an insane clutch there. Again, another one for one trade. And and this time it's just Orange East was managing to get a bit of control as Lun in the uh -oh. wrong neighborhood. Getting jumped on Torrent. They had to stun from Valiant. Can he get out in time? It seems like Great. he will. Barely survived that. Okay, uh barely survived that incident. Oh, they needed that crit here up on Mao in order to burst him down. Unfortunately, not going to be happening, but the blue buff once again being contested once again from Evos. This time, Aaron will have the double buffs here. He's going to try to shut down So So will be the one that get falls. A little bit of overcommitment there, but Evos SG, they're getting desperate. Silo pops the Phantom Steve. What's going for the fight? Arrow doesn't connect from Fossa, but here, Aaron giving chase. He wants to kill Bambi. Bambi in some trouble. Can he survive? Here comes the soccer ball, but no, he doesn't connect. Evos successfully retreats from this fight, and RG Esports, they're having their targets on towards the Lord now. Mao with no buff. The Lord dropping really quickly right now. Evo's SG, they need to contest. Learn getting zoned out pretty hard on this Uranus, but the Lord is going to be dropping 10%. How are they going to defend against this gear? Chapu is there. He's going to drop so low. With the truck and be committed. Oh dear, Bambi is there, but the Lord will fall. Evo's, they want to kill them off. Mom is there with a huge siren's range. No fallout available. Mom, he's going to go fall. Immortality is there and he goes down, but the Lord will be secured from Orange Esports. Uh, Orange is for getting the objective that they need. Uh, now, if you, if you kind of look at the go graph, it doesn't really matter at this point, right? Both of them are oh, almost equal, only a couple of hundred go apart from each other. It was SG. Now, it's th the question is just how can they you know, execute this kind of fight? You need to look out for the link. You need to look out for this uh, for this uh, Leo mod, and especially the Bruno, who has been able to you know not die too many times. And he's, he's hitting a pretty good timing. And if you put all that together, Orange Evil has a slightly better chance. But he was actually they're gonna jump on Orange East for reborn as we speak. As the uh -oh. fantasy gets called out, they're trying to go pincer Silo in, but they definitely did pincer Aaron into the wall. As Aaron will be eliminated, oh, Chuck will dodge, sidestep the arrow. But JPL on his tail is gonna roll into him and run him over. Third pick is gonna be Silo. He's still dropping low, but Bambi they use the wheel. No damage, not enough. It connects onto Mom instead. It's going to be oh. Fossa being executed. What? For 40 oh, no. seconds. Fossa it's the Lord! To troll the Lord! The to crystal! Lord. He's gonna go down, but the Lord knocking the crystal. He was as she did committed in that fight. Fossa tried yes. his best to defend. He even threw his body and he gets killed. Oh no, Orange Esports, they are on the glimmer here. But the crystal, once again, Evo SG, they're not giving up. They're equalizing the score. Orange Esports, this time, they're gonna be taking the blue buff right now. JPL is dropping a little bit low. They know they're gonna be contesting the buff. And it seems to be Orange Esports in, in no position to fight this. And they need MB to come up online right now. They're Crystal is exposed, and now Orange Esports, they are at the verge of closing this game, but still, Evo's SG giving them a run for their money, and Evo's SG, they're not giving up right now. But as of now, the lanes are pretty much equalized here. You can see the economy up on towards Odier Bambi, 11, 12k net worth as compared to 10k on the link and 9k on the Bruno. Mount Aaron, they have a lot of stack they need to pick up here. If, if they kill off Bambi, that's going to be the win condition for Orange Esports right now. Yeah, it, it, it almost turned into a tra tragedy for Evo's SG had they not paid attention. Uh, it was an enhanced lore, so that crystal took a heavy beating. But Evo's SG just feels like they are not in the best position to fight. See, Mom is really going to jump in with the time stream bad. Doesn't need to connect. Managing to slow down JPI with the bouncing ball. And there goes the, the final outer tier tower. And Mom, he's fishing for it. The rest of Orange East, they're piling in. 
So it's waiting for opportunity to dive right in, but Celo is going to pull the trigger immediately. Mom will join him, but Celo taking a bit too much damage from Odin. Bambi does not dash out, and he will die to this carry. But here comes Will the Dragon, though Aaron with the Tempest of Blade does he have enough damage? Seems like he does not. Or is Eastbound forced to retreat? A bit of arrow barely misses on the Chakwu, but the rest of Evil's SG will collapse onto this valley and make sure Chakwu burns himself to death. And Evil SG will defend their face and take tree from Orange. Oh no, over commitment from Silo jumping over through the wall. And he could not jump back from the wall. And that was pretty much them throwing that entire fight right there. And Evil SG was able to punish them. But fortunately for an RG Esports here, they still have the outer towers and they have enough time to actually make a comeback here. But Evil SG, they're going to push out the lanes here. They do not want to throw any more games. And currently, in terms of economy wise, you can see items are being racked up from all these teams here. We have an Ice Queen one up on Lun as well to try and negate some of this mobility that Orange Esports have and this might not happen here. Arrow doesn't connect again once per side. No Forza as Mom with the mortality is up. Aaron needs to be careful. Is he going to be A-OK? -okay? He's going to be safe for now but Mom tries to go for a save. He's going to get shut down here. Are they going to go for the fight here? Iron is available. Phantom Steel has been used. Silo goes for a save. Mom survives. Aaron goes for a Tempest with a huge one but not enough to finish off the members from the side of Evos and they're going to go for more. Lun backs off Evos. They do not want to troll this game. They're playing the safe approach here. If they die right now, that is it for Evos SG and they're not going to give Orange Esports the satisfaction of ending this game easily. Yep, uh, Orange Esports, we we praised them, we commended them for the extreme amount of discipline that they had, but that one over commitment was uh, a slight crack in that discipline where they just kind of gave out a lead where they could have convincingly taken more from Evos SG. But now it's going to be the Lord. The Lord is going to matter to both teams, especially if you're Evos SG, you need this Lord or at least prevent Orange Esports from laying their hands on this objective. My goodness here now, Evos SG, they're going to be baiting with the Lord here. Again here, Lund will be opening the map here, trying to zone some kind of potential here. However, on the top side here, Cho has exposed himself up the top lane and Orange Esports, you can see Aaron is trying to make those kind of plays here. As soon as they know that the Cho is up there, Mom goes in for the aggressive push as they try to go for a couple pick pickoffs here. Bambi does have the immortality available. JPL waiting for Aaron to lie in this wall before he goes for the jump here, but it seems to me Aaron is in no position position at all. Evos getting pushed back in towards their side of the jungle instead here as this Lord is going to be the key objective for Orange Esports right now. Split push is coming in. Orange Esports, they are setting up for a split push potential but Orange Esports once again trying to keep Evos at bay to contest for the Lord but it seems to me Evos SG they're more worried potentially from a rat that up top that will be breaking the crystal. And now they will give away positioning away towards Orange Esports. It's going to be controlling the law pit right now. Yep. Ling is just far better in terms of split pushing. You have Ling and Liomo together. They combine, they will out split push Evil's SG any day. And now Evil's SG. Uh oh. The ambush. Their mom, he caught the most important target. And Babby has the immortality, but the Temple of the Blitz will drop on him. Aaron, they've secured themselves the most important kill of this game. And it's just so with the way of the dragon, but it seems like the power of the dragon is not enough to bite down. And Norris Esports will now tighten their teeth around the neck of Evil's SG. They want to bite oh, this no. tiger, they want to beat the Apex Predator. It seems like the hunters have become the hunter in this situation. Or is Esports, oh, four men no. strong, cost you alive, decide to play safe. They're gonna go take the Lord instead and keep Evo's SG locked up in their base. This is not looking too good for Evo's SG. Bambi is on the 18 seconds on the sideline. Same goes for Mao, but fortunately for Orange Esports, they have the link. They're gonna be focusing on the Lord here. Evo's SG, they're gonna push back. They wanna go kill the mob. Nice arrow there onto a Changu. Can they finish mob? The Lord up for 10% already. JPO is in the vicinity. Aaron forces to disengage. Who's gonna take the Lord? Evo's Esports, they need this Lord if they wanna make a chance for this. Aaron, who's gonna get the Lord? Is it, it? it gonna be no. here? Aaron still sit down. And now Evo's, they have the back of Silo kills off. Well, Lund, and now Odin Bambi forced to defend against this tower. The Lord is going to be pushing from the top side. And Evo's SG, they, they are on full retreat here. They, they have to find a way. Can they defend against this Lord? But alongside, they've lost Lund, not too shabby. This is going to be last defense here as Orange Esports. They're going to be knocking the doors and crystals of Evo's SG. What is going on, Husky? This is going to be the we biggest upset in this entire tournament. We are looking at history in the making. The, the the dispel of a prediction 
the fulfillment of a prophecy, the Cinderella story, and of course, one of the biggest ups in the Evil's Edge Jesus, uh, Evil's Edge Jesus existence, Orange Esports, pushing uh -oh. for the win. They are gonna go for the juggler right now, though, so having to go away, but the Lord is gonna knock on that inhibitor turret. Evil's Edge needs to mount his defense right now. JPR standing on the front line, but it's over! It is over! Orange Esports reborn! They knock out Evil's Edge and for the first